Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Today let us discuss one new model in the chapter profit and loss. Now this is one of the model generally that can be asked in exams. A shopkeeper sells an article at a loss of 15 percent. Had he sold it for 200 rupees more, then he would have gained 10 percent. Find the cost price of the article. So, here he says that initially the shopkeeper is selling an article at a loss of 15 percent. So, if a shopkeeper sells at a loss of 15 percent, then the initial selling price should be equal to 85 percent of cost price. Then he says that it is a conditional statement. Had he sold it, conditional statement, had he sold it for rupees 200 more, then he would have gained 10 percent. That means, if he increases his selling price by 200 rupees, then he would have made a profit of 10 percent. That means, after increasing by 200 rupees, definitely the new selling price should be 110 percent of cost price. So, initially when he makes a loss of 15 percent, that means selling price is 85 percent of cost price. When he makes a profit of 10 percent, his selling price is 110 percent of cost price. Then what is this 200? Obviously, this 200 is nothing but the difference in selling price. So, I can say like this, 110 percent of cost price minus 85 percent of cost price should be equal to 200. So, 110 minus 85 is 25 percent. So, 25 percent of cost price is 200 rupees. So, what is 100 percent of cost price? So, cross multiplying this we get answer as 800 rupees. So, the cost price of the article is 800 rupees. This is one method to tell the answer. But logically speaking, how we can tell the answer orally in a simple way? Now, initially he sells at a loss of 15 percent, loss of 15 percent and later on he gains 10 percent. So, what is the difference? Minus 15 to plus 10, minus 15 to plus 10, the difference is 25 percent. So, that 25 percent should be obviously on cost price. So, 25 percent of cost price is 200, what is 100 percent? So, you get 800. Now, let us look into one more example in the same model. The second problem, a shopkeeper sells an article at a profit of 13 percent. Had he sold it for rupees 110 more, then he would have gained 35 percent. Find the cost price of the article. Now, here it is the same type of problem, but in both the cases there is profit. Now, initially a shopkeeper sells an article at a profit of 13 percent, that is selling price would be 113 percent of cost price. Had he sold it for rupees 110 more, now it is a conditional statement, then he would have gained 35 percent. That means, after increasing his selling price by 110 rupees, his sell, new selling price should be 135 percent of cost price. So, what is this 110 rupees? Obviously, this 110 rupees is the difference in selling price. So, 135 percent of cost price minus 113 percent of cost price should be equal to 110 rupees. Now, 135 minus 113 should be 22 percent. So, 22 percent of cost price is 110 rupees, what is 100 percent of cost price? So, cross multiplying 100 into 110 by 22, 22 fives. So, the cost price of the article is 500 rupees. Now, let us look into one more example. A shopkeeper sells an article after allowing a discount of 20 percent. 
if he allows a discount of 30 percent then he would have lost rupees 150 more at what price was the article sold so in this particular question we are asked to find out what is the selling price of the article now actually the shopkeeper sold the article after allowing a discount of 20 percent that means his actual selling price should be 80 percent of marked price we already know that discount is always calculated on marked price now if there is a discount of 20 percent then selling price should be 80 percent of marked price now the next one is the conditional statement if he allows a discount of 30 percent if suppose the shopkeeper allows a discount of 30 percent then the selling price should be 70 percent of marked price so initially he sold at 80 percent of marked price later on he is selling at 70 percent of marked price so definitely he will be losing some money now with respect to percentage how much money is he losing here he is selling at 80 percent of marked price here he is selling at 70 percent of marked price so obviously he will be losing 10 percent of marked price now this 10 percent of marked price is equal to 150 rupees now the question is at what price was the article sold article was sold actually at 80 percent of marked price after giving a discount of 20 percent so he we are asked to find the selling price of the article that is we are asked to find 80 percent of marked price so if 10 percent of marked price is 150 what is 80 percent of marked price now you can see 10 and 80 is 8 times so our answer should be 150 into 8 it is rupees 1200 so the article was sold at rupees 1200 thank you for watching for more videos subscribe to nareshaiti